<laughs> I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing for a second there, but it's all good now. Ah. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? Welcome back to the Stardew Valley Chill Stream. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'm the chillest guy in the world, except for when I'm playing Sekiro. But that's not what I'm doing today, so we should be good. <laughs> no anger today. Just good vibes. Good vibes and good feelings. All right, it is Friday the 5th of summer, year two in this game. And uh, I meant to watch the end of the last stream so that I could remember kind of what was going on, and then I didn't. So, yay for me. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Today our luck is not good. Weird. Abigail's here. Hi, um, I just wanted to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. What even happened yesterday? I don't remember at this point. You probably understand what happened. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> is that when we went to go see her in her room? Yeah, whatever. Just don't tell Penny. Whatever happened between us, just keep it between us, please. That's really all I ask. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've got... These are coffee plants down here. These are all my melons. We've got to water these manually. Let's see. I think today I need to focus on building upgrades, which is slow going because you can only do one at a time and they're usually expensive. I want to get my barns to the highest level they can be. And I also want to build a couple more silos. It would also be nice to upgrade our house if I could swing it. But I kind of doubt we'll get to all of that today if I'm being honest. We'll see what kind of progress we get through. We got 19 batteries, that's good. And I stored a cherry bomb in here, apparently. What's up, Rimshot? How you doing, boy? Have some water. Today in the fruit cave, we've got nothing. Good. That's all coming along. Oh, are these strawberries actually ready? They are! We've got our first strawberry yield. That's so cool. You know what sucks is it's Friday, but I actually don't have enough money to buy a iridium sprinkler from Krobus. Maybe if I go sell these strawberries to Pierre. Well, we'll see. Good morning, Ninny. Good morning, Brotino. And Juffy. And Buffy. <laughs> and Snumbus. And Howard. And Sucko. Oh, we do have Penny working on this upgrade. Okay, that's good. That means I can get some rabbits in here soon. Gacha is all maxed out on hearts. Look at that. That. that might be the last time I ever have to do that because once this is upgraded, it'll place the hay automatically. Dale! Dale, my good buddy Dale is back. So good to see you in chat, buddy. How you been? How was Madagascar? Tell me everything about it.
forgot I had a pig already. And one more cow. So I'm at a point where... I could benefit from more cheese machines, but... I'm actually not going to do that. Because I don't plan on keeping these cows long term. You'll have to wait a second for that because typing it out on a phone will be a nightmare. Oh, no problem. Take your time, man. <laughs> I'm excited to hear it, though, because this is actually, uh... Wait a second, can I sell the cheese directly to Pierre as well? I've never tried that. Um, I admit I don't know much about Madagascar because I'm an ignorant American and I don't know anything about, like, places outside of America. I don't even know a lot about America, to be honest. <laughs> Not as much as I should, anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Um, right, I'm getting married in three days, guys. How cool is that? Pardon me a moment. Try to take a sip of my tea. My hot tea. Sandy wants a red snapper. You know, I really should do that because that would give me friendship points with her. And Sandy's... I haven't done, like, barely anything with her in terms of friendship. I don't have any idea what she likes, and it's a pain in the ass just to get there and give her stuff, because she's in the desert. Red snapper. Popular fish with a nice red color. Well, it doesn't tell me where to catch it, and I've only caught one. So it seems like she wants sort of a rarish fish. Oh, nice. I can sell the cheese directly to Pierre. I didn't... I don't think I ever knew that, but that's awesome, actually. Uh, I'm going to sell him... All these two. Just because I want to go buy that Iridium Sprinkler from Krobus today. Kind of wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. I know that feeling. I'm allergic to cats, and I'm allergic to a lot of dogs, too, which sucks. Um, I'm not sure where I got this amethyst from, but I can give this to Abby. I don't even think she needed it, come to think of it. She didn't. I just completely wasted that. <laughs> oh well. Before I forget, let's go, uh... Let's go hit up Krobus. Uh, no, you have not missed the wedding, Dale. It's gonna be another three days. Okay, yoink that, and that's really all I need for him today. So, um, I'll set that up in the greenhouse probably, and maybe throw down some more strawberry seeds. Not really sure how I want to play that, to be honest. Because eventually, I'm going to need all the room in the greenhouse for, um, <coughs> for the ancient fruit. Look at this. She's selling a red cabbage. That would let me finish off a bundle. But I'll also be able to grow that myself, like, relatively soon. Aren't I, aren't I growing those, like, right now, actually? I'm going to hold off on that. If this was last year, I probably would have bought that, but, eh. Rare seed. That's what I should do, actually. I should grow those rare seeds in the greenhouse. That'd be smart. Yeah, the strawberries are awesome because you plant them, and if you plant them in the greenhouse, they just they just keep growing forever. Um, they keep producing. But eventually, I'm going to want to replace them with the ancient fruit, so I'm like, I don't know, should I use those seeds now, or should I save them for summer? Uh, for spring next year. But I'll actually, like, want some stuff to grow outside. Not sure. I, 
I think I'll probably save the seeds I have right now. I think I'll put the rare seeds in the greenhouse with the sprinkler I just picked up. That seems like the smart play to me. So let's go take care of that right now, I guess. out the cheese in here. Wow, I can't get in the door because the cow won't move. There we go. That was pretty close to pissing me off. But no matter. I guess I'll just sell the fiddlehead fern. I don't really need that anymore. Sixteen seeds, perfect. And um, that goes in there. Seaweed goes in there. Ooh, what finished? Cauliflower. I don't know why I couldn't find that. <laughs> it took me way longer than it should have to see where that was. Let's throw this sprinkler down right here. Oh, you know, I'm not sure if it's worth fertilizing these or not, because I'm going to turn the... No, I can't turn these into wine. That's right. So I should fertilize these, because they're going to get sold straight up as they are. So actually, before I do this, let me go grab that fertilizer. <laughs> I love a huge screen, Dale. I, I actually don't really like watching stuff on my phone. Like, I do it because, you know, sometimes it's the only option you have, but I'd much rather have a huge screen to watch stuff on. What do I know about Madagascar? I know that it is a large island country off the coast of Africa, and I believe it's in the Indian Ocean. I don't know a lot about life there in terms of like, are they very industrial or is it more rural? I want to know everything, man. Tell me everything you can tell me about Madagascar. Everything you feel like telling me. <laughs> All right. In a month, we'll have some delicious sweet gem berries. I think I think I will go do some fishing just to refill the wallet a little bit and maybe I'll get lucky and find a red snapper to give to Sandy that'd be cool 
I'm not sure where I'm going to catch that. Let me think. Where can we find Red Snapper? Lake, river, or ocean? Two sides to Madagascar. The tourism-oriented one in the north and the real one in the south. Interesting. So tell me about the real one. I want to know about the real Madagascar. Penny, are you excited for our wedding? We're going to have a little farm family soon. I'm so glad you feel this way about me. Aww. Can I smooch her? Yeah, smooch. <laughs> awesome. I want to say we maybe get Red Snapper from the ocean. So, let's do some ocean fishing. This is purely a guess, by the way. North is apparently richer. There are ex exclusive hotels and stuff, but I haven't been there, so it's just kind of what I've heard. Oh, gotcha. Oh, this fish woke up. Look at that. Dale, why did you go to Madagascar? Yes, super cucumber. That's awesome. Um, why did you go to Madagascar in the first place? Was it just a vacation you decided to take, or did you go there for, like, a specific reason? What facilitated the trip? So I was thinking about that, and I was like... I was like, why, why choose Madagascar out of all the places in the world? Not that it, there's anything wrong with Madagascar, it's just... That's not a place I would have thought to vacation to. Myself. I've been to Fort Dauphin to visit my sister who is volunteering there for a year with her husband. Oh, so you went to visit your sister? She calls it a honey year. <laughs> They got married in July, and they've been in Madagascar ever since then. That is a long honeymoon. I don't even think you can call it a honeymoon at that point. Which I guess is why she calls it <laughs> a honey year. I'd call it like an extended vacation. Dude, this is awesome. I'm getting really valuable super cucumbers here. They're working for free, so they're volunteering. not finding the red snapper right now. Um, I am happy to find these super cucumbers though, guys, because uh, I was actually reading about the fish ponds <coughs> that were added to this game recently. And um, they sound really awesome. I actually don't know much about them, but apparently the way they work is you buy a fish pond and then you can put in any kind of fish you want. And they'll start asking for quests. For like, for items that they want. That they want you to bring them. And then the more of the items that you bring them. Um, the fish will start to multiply. And you can fish them out and sell them. Or use them for whatever. So I guess if you put a really valuable fish in. Like a super cucumber. You can actually multiply them and sell them off like that. And I think I might do that. It sounds like a good way to just add some longevity to the game with the item quests that the fish give you. And none of it makes any actual sense with reality. Like, fish don't ask for, I don't know, you know, like grapes and stuff like that. But it's a fun little thing in the game, so. They tend to the poorest children around and also help teach other kids in a nearby school. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Sounds like they're doing good work there. And that's what what an incredible way to spend your your honeymoon too. Cause when most people think of a honeymoon, they think like, oh, this is our vacation, this is our post-wedding celebration, right? But they're actually like 
giving back to the world with their time. It's really generous. Wow, so much garbage in here. Who keeps polluting in the ocean? I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna smack you with my lava katana. Alright, let's head home. I think I'm gonna sell most of these, but I'm gonna keep one super cucumber for a fish pond. By the way, guys, does the frame rate look okay? I've had some issues with that lately, and I had to restart my PC to fix it for Sekiro. So I'm really hoping that that doesn't happen in this stream. When you get there, it feels like a dump. It's really dirty everywhere. If you see any cars, they're old and scratched, and it's the same with everything there. So they're not, like... Super industrialized and modern, it sounds like. Hope that doesn't come off as me like trying to pick on Madagascar or anything. It's, it's not what I'm trying to say. Frame rate looks fine. Good, thank you. I guess. Wait, there was a place where I was keeping... Oh, yeah. I do already have a super cucumber over here. Okay. I don't remember saving one of those, but that's good. So that means I can actually just sell this one. Very good. People are walking or cycling for miles to get to work or school. That's awesome. Man, I, I really need to start cycling everywhere. I have a mountain bike. I just don't use it because I'm lazy. But I might have to start using it more because um, I'm going to have to move soon, actually. And I'm not sure where I'm moving to yet, but the, the transportation situation where I live actually kind of sucks. They have to, and it's really hot in summer. Oh, yeah, I don't envy that. <laughs> I would hope that's the kind of thing you just get used to after a while, though. Spirits are in good humor today. Sweet. Here we got Fisherman Wanted. I need a good pufferfish specimen. I'm conducting an experiment on the toxin created by the pufferfish. Reward of a thousand gold. It's not a bad reward. Puffer fish doesn't tell me where to catch it. I wish they would always tell me where to catch it. Let's see, what do we got? More strawberries. Let's throw some more strawberries in. I have 82 candles. I didn't even realize I had quite that many. It's nice, though. Just realized I forgot to close the barn doors last night. So that's going to be annoying. One 
One time I saw a guy cycling with a living pig tied to the back of his bike. It was horrible, but there was no other way for him to get to the market. Jeez. When you say tied to the back of the bike, do you mean like... The pig was still walking, but was just like leashed to the bike? Or the pig was literally like tied to the back and couldn't move? Like it was strapped to the back. Because that just sounds awful. strapped so like it couldn't even move around jeez i guess that's better than making it run behind your bike but that still sucks i can't even see the duck when he's in the grass <laughs> he just blends in So I got six milks. I guess that's everybody. I think so. Not sure if I petted all the chickens. But I got most of them, I think. Hey, free duck feather. Awesome. Oh, I relocated my mayonnaise machine. Because <laughs> there's more floor space in here now. Hold on, I gotta move that back over. Is that really all the eggs? Huh. Only four eggs today. Oh, uh, okay. Unless they drop some of them outside and they're in the grass and I can't see them. Oh, whatever. Where did I leave my horse? I usually leave him right out here. There he is. I don't know why I didn't take him down this morning. So most of that. Let's see, it's Saturday. Um... Oh, I never, I never uh, claimed the reward for this. So that's nice. There's an extra thousand in my pocket. Um, oh, Demetrius's request for the puffer fish is actually not a delivery. It's a full quest. Okay, what else do I have quests for? Gus wants an albacore. Demetrius wants a puffer fish. All right. Got like no energy left today already. Maybe I'll find some fish in a trash can or a Joja Cola. Ocean did not avail us last night, so let's head up to the lake today. <clears throat> Sup, Linus? You can find rainbow trout in streams right now. Cool. Where do I find albacore and pufferfish? Tell me that, please. <laughs> this is probably a bad spot, actually. Come 
down here. So you got to the south by plane, but regular people can't afford that, and so they get on the bus, more like a truck. Packed tight with people so that some of them are even sitting on the outside railings with luggage and animals tied to the roof and travel for five days like that from the capital. Jeez. So conditions in Madagascar are not great, is what I'm hearing. Very high unemployment and many very poor people. Basically no middle class at all. Dude, that's, that's rough. What kind of government do they have there? You're either incredibly rich or poor. You know, America's kind of heading in that direction. <laughs> it's not even close. I'm not trying to compare the two right now, but the middle class in America has kind of been disappearing for a while. I've experienced that in my life with um, the cost of rent just going up and up and up, the cost of living going up, the cost of basic necessities like shampoo and stuff like that. Those costs just keep going up and wages do not go up at all. Let's see if I can make it to Clint in time to process those geodes. Not catching what I wanted to catch from here, so I'm gonna leave. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. You guys are gonna hear me bitching a lot in the next, in the, in the coming months because I have to move, and I don't know exactly where I'm going yet. Um, the money situation's not fantastic right now, so I kind of have to keep that in mind as I look for a place I can afford. And then there's costs associated with moving. It's actually really stressful. A lot of things are up in the air right now, and I don't know how everything's going to play out, but I am going to be re relocating sometime in the next couple months. So get ready to hear me just whine about that constantly. Okay, that's all garbage, I believe. Yeah. All right. Let's do some lake fishing. River fishing. Actually. The government is, let's say, extremely corrupt. If you have power, you take whatever you can for yourself and your family to make yourself rich. That's normal there. Oh, so, again, a lot like America. Why does it seem like everywhere in the world the assholes are winning right now? It's just, it feels like everywhere. You know, like, things are a nightmare in Europe right now with the whole Brexit thing. And Obviously, things are a nightmare in the United States right now. I think people are finally waking up to the idea and the fact that the odds have kind of been stacked against the lower middle class for a long time in a lot of places. So hopefully we see some improvement with, you know, voting in the right people and things like that. Listen, I'm not trying to get crazy political on a Stardew Valley chill stream. So I won't say too much about that, but yeah, that's my two cents. You're going to be moving and changing flats during the summer? Hey, look at that. Moving buddies. It's stressful, man. I really don't like moving. But also, if I'm being honest, I'm not a huge fan of the place where I live right now. Like, this apartment here, don't like it. Um... I went and checked out a townhouse last night that's up for rent, and I actually quite liked it. Um, I would have access to the finished basement area, so I'd, I'd have like a small kind of living area and then a bedroom off to the side in my own private bathroom. And the price is pretty reasonable for that. Um, there are downsides to it as well. Uh, they're not really offering a hard line for internet access. They have, like, wireless pumped throughout the, the whole townhouse, but 
I don't, I don't want to stream or play video games on wireless. I don't think that would work out very well. And they said that if I wanted a hard line for internet, I'd have to pay for my own line. Which seems kind of stupid. Um, I would have, like, you know, housemates. I would hope that they would mostly, like, leave me alone, just leave me to my own devices down in my basement area, but... You do have to be considerate of other people when you have housemates. So, I don't know. I'm weighing pros and cons for things. I'm moving out from a room in my friend's house and do a flat of my own, so I'm pretty excited. I'm done with housemates. Dude, that's the way to do it if you can afford it, man. I would love to have, like, a just a one-bedroom place all to myself. But I don't know that I can... <laughs> Sorry. I don't know that I can afford it right now. I've got a lot of bills. I have a lot of debt. Because uh, I'm a real idiot who mismanages my money. And I've done it my whole life. So, I haven't been good about like paying off the debts I have. I have a student loan that I've been paying off for like 13 years. And I still have like 10 grand left on that. If I could get that and my car paid off, I'd have a lot more money to put towards things like rent. But... It's still just a little too far away, really. And my inventory's full. Look at all this garbage, guys. Willie! Willie, I want to give you something, but I don't know what. I'm going to give you this topaz. Hey, he likes it. Yeah, man, I, I don't like having housemates. Um, the guy I live with right now has been my best friend since, like, seventh grade, so I don't really mind that. Because, like, he's a good friend of mine, you know, I trust him and everything, but he's moving out to do another thing with, uh, of his own. I don't want to, like, talk about his life on stream, but basically he's going to be moving out, so I have to find a new place of my own. It's, uh, kind of an unavoidable thing, so... Um, Dale, I saw your comment about this pattern here in the main square, and you were so right. I just need to find that secret note. So, it does kind of look like this, right here. Why can't I click on that and actually bring it up? I wish I could- I wish I could full-size this, but anyway. This pattern looks a lot like this pattern right here in the square, but I don't know what this is trying to tell me, the directions. Should I just move in those directions until I can't move anymore? And then switch to the next direction? Like, okay, let's try that. So this starts out, if we start out right in the center of the red ring, then it'd be right down, right, up, right. Right down, right, up, right. So we start out going like this. Right, down, right, up, right. That stops me right at that little can. The next set is up, right, down, left, up. Up, right, down, left, up. Up. Right, down, left, up. This seems maybe not the way to handle this, but I gotta see it through. Left, up, right, up, left. Left, up, right, up, left. Left, up, right. Up, left, <laughs> okay, this is where it's taking me. And then up, left, finish. Up, left. What? Ah, oh, I think that was it, guys. Driver, hey kid, I need a lucky break. Why don't you bring me a rabbit's foot? I'll make it worth your while. Huh. There's a... There's a driver in the truck, guys, that you can talk to. I never knew that. Dale, that was a that was a masterful 
deduction you made there. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to say yes to this. Come back when you got a rabbit's foot on you, kid. Okay, so I should actually, um, I can go buy a rabbit tomorrow, I think. I don't remember how much they cost. But I think I'll have enough to get one. And I wanted to do that anyway, so, yeah. I actually can't believe that I got that right on the first try. <laughs> you wouldn't have realized you have to move until it stops you. Yeah, that was the only thing that made sense to me, because otherwise you have no reference for how far to move in those directions. Wild honey. Let's stick that in there. Where is it? There it is. Way too much stuff in my inventory, guys. I think I can sell all these fish. Sell the fire quartz. Sell that. Um, yeah, that too. I've been keeping earth crystals in the gift bin. Yeah. Because I don't really know what else to do with them. That gets recycled. It's actually close up shop today. Grab the mayonnaise so I can sell it overnight, so I have as much cash as possible tomorrow. Okay, that's that's a little better. The whole point of the lesson is to rewrite the textbook. Oh, sorry, I, I missed a message. One sec. This finish over here, yep. It's just one piece of wood. That's too bad. I gotta remember to check in check in on the strawberries every day too, because they could yield pretty much any time. And if I don't pick them on the day they yield, then I'm just wasting time, you know. Go to sleep. I got no energy left today. So the education's lacking in Madagascar. Their native language is Malagasy? Malagasy? I don't know how to say that right. But the official language is French. Almost every school subject is taught in French, but children don't really speak French yet. The whole point of the lesson is to rewrite the textbook in a language they don't understand. And the whole point of the end of the year exams is to test how well they've learned the text, but they don't understand by heart. So they end school knowing nothing. Wow. And nobody sought to say like, hey, this system we've devised doesn't really work that great. Maybe we should rework this a little bit. Sounds like a very mismanaged place, if I'm being honest. Oh, snap. When Dude first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Dude is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. Yay! It is my great honor on this day seven of summer to unite Dude and Penny in the bonds of marriage. Okay, so summer the seventh is our anniversary. I should probably try to remember that. <laughs> Well, let's get right to it. Dude. Penny. <laughs> That's funny. 
As the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Oh yeah. Life is going to be different from now on, but the future looks bright. That's kind of a lie, actually. The things aren't really that different. <laughs> Penny does live here now. If you want to make friends with my mother, you can't go wrong with parsnip. It would make a great gift. I already knew that. But thank you anyway, my lovely wife. Um, yeah, so Penny lives here now. And, um, she will occasionally help out with stuff. Like, I might come out one morning and she'll be like, Hey, I already watered all the plants for you, which is cool. You know, she'll help out with stuff like that. Um, otherwise, you know, she has more hearts now, too. So we can, um, keep giving her gifts to get her more maxed out heart-wise. I think there's probably some events associated with that. Yeah, it was short. <laughs> it's a short wedding. I'll say that's one area of the game where um, they, they could probably be expanded upon. The whole marriage aspect. And uh, the pet owning aspect. That one is probably the biggest one for me. Like, we can have a dog, but we can't really do much with him. I think we should be able to like play fetch with him and teach him tricks and stuff like that. And then, you know, once you get married, I mean, there is stuff associated with it, but it doesn't really change the game in any meaningful way. Actually, I think this is the first time I've ever actually gotten married in the game. Come to think of it, I don't think, I, I might have married, like, I might have married Abby once before, but I don't think so. I think this is the first time, actually. And I really like that musical track that played during the wedding. It was pretty dope. I wish it was a little bit longer. Let's see, did she set up anything inside? Oh, she's yeah, she's got her whole other room over here now. That's really cool. I don't know if she'll do anything with it, but... Yeah, okay. That's good. She's got a space all to herself where she can do her own thing. It's important. It's important to have me time, you know? You guys understand. I feel like I missed some chickens there, but that's okay. Also, I'm getting a lot of duck feathers. I thought they were supposed to be more rare than what they are. I wonder if that got tuned at all. Because I feel like I get them almost every other day now. And also, they don't really sell for as much as I thought they would. So it's possible that that was changed up at some point. It's also possible that I was just very wrong about how they work. That was interesting. I, I was trying to milk the goat, but it focused on the cow and said through the goat. <laughs> Which is weird. This pig needs to hurry up and grow up. He's still a baby. As soon as he grows up, he's going to find his valuable truffles every day. And I did not place the milk. Um, all right, 
let's go down and see Marnie after I sell this stuff. And in case you guys were wondering, um, yes, we can totally divorce Penny if we decide that we don't want to be married to her anymore. And then you can marry somebody else. Um, I don't know why you would do that, but, you know, I guess if you just get tired of having that same person for a spouse, then I guess that can happen. I'm saying that now. I'll probably end up divorcing her, like, next year just so I can, like, be married to somebody different. You get different dialogue and stuff like that, so... I guess it's mainly for, like, if you want to see as much stuff in the game as possible. But Penny will not like you after you divorce her. I'm, nobody will like you after you divorce them. It actually does affect the dialogue with them. They'll be like, you can't give them gifts or anything. They'll be like, I don't want your gift. Leave me alone, you know? <clears throat> Alright, let's read through what she's got. She's actually selling tortillas. Look at that. Spires. Furniture can be... Um, eh. That sounds interesting. Spires furniture actually sounds really cool. I'm going to save up for the catalog, though. Throw another rare seed down. All right. Biggest problem with Madagascar is people's mentality... They have problems listening to what others are saying, coming to arranged meetings at all, or on time. So it sounds like they're just not crazy interested in their own well-being. <laughs> Am I wrong about that? They'll tell you, I understand, I'll be there, and then they just won't come. Sometimes teachers don't come to lessons at all without telling anyone. Is that just like a cultural thing? Uh, okay. So, rabbits are 8,000 gold. That's a lot, man. And they don't even lay eggs, like the chickens do. But they do give you rabbit's feet, and eventually they give you wool as well. So, we definitely want at least one. The rabbit shall be named... None of these strike me as good rabbit names. Renabelle? It's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Alright. Renabelle the rabbit. I'll send little Renabelle to her new home right away. And then... While I'm here, let's just buy that other heater. And let's buy the shears, because we're going to need those eventually. Wish I could afford some auto grabbers, but I can't. I can't afford a new pig right now, either. They don't understand the concept of saving money. Neither do I. Sounds like I should live in Madagascar. Right, I'm going to plop this down right here. Back in the corner. These other two should finish in like a second, I think. They only produce and sell what they need to survive the day and not more. Huh. So they just kind of live in the moment, live day by day. Come on, finish up. I know that these have to be done. Alright, while I'm waiting for them, um, let's actually go pet the new rabbit. Renabelle's a baby. I think I put the wrong thing in here. Or nothing at all. That's weird. Okay. 
There they are. In the South, many people live in tiny straw or wooden shacks, just like you see in movies about Africa. Mm. Ooh, diamonds. So did you help out with um, with your sister's work while you were there? Or were you just like... Um, just like sightseeing and things like that? I'm going to need one fertilizer for this. Maple syrup's ready. Well, some of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I meant to drop the shears down here. I don't know what I was doing with this chest. I screwed it up multiple times. There. Because we will need those to harvest the wool off the rabbit once it's grown up. I think wool's pretty valuable. Especially if you turn it into cloth with a loom. See if I can find. Oh, there's Kent. Tomorrow is Gus's birthday. What should I give him, guys? Kent needs seaweed. Hey, I can do that. I can totally do that. What in the world am I going to make for dinner? Sigh. You should make pizza. Homemade pizza. I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back. I'm used to having more structure in my day. I get it. It can be a tough adjustment coming back to civvy life. In the South, many people... Oh, I already read that. It costs about 60000 ariary? $16 to build the cheapest house? You can build a house for $16? I guess... Even though that translates directly mathematically, it's probably not... It doesn't have the same value as like $16 would have here. Or in other developed countries, right? I played with some children during my sister's classes on Saturday. Gave them piggybacks. <laughs> That's awesome. You were mostly sightseeing. You also had a presentation on teaching methods for the teachers. Huh. Well, hopefully it did some good. What should I give Kent, guys? What do you think he would love out of this stuff here? I should give Penny an emerald. <laughs> I'm going to try giving him an aquamarine. I don't know why. He strikes me as kind of an aquamarine guy. Thank you. I really love this. Anything for you, baby? Moi. Imagine how shitty that house is. Yeah, I... I don't want to. But, you know, it's it's good to learn about that kind of stuff just because it keeps in perspective how lucky you are to be born where you are. Like, you know, I've, I've done some bitching about the economy and things like that here on the stream, but... I try not to lose sight of the fact that I am very lucky to have been born in the time and place that I have been born in. Because... There's a lot of other time and places where life would be a lot worse. Hey, now this is a really great gift. Thanks. Okay, didn't love it. Here's your seaweed. Hello, dude. Is that the seaweed I requested? It looks perfect. Here's your payment as promised. Thanks.
Where do we get puffer fish, guys? Is that in the ocean? I think that might be the, an ocean, like an early morning ocean fish, maybe? Let me see if Sam's hanging around here so I can give him this cola. That's the wrong house. He actually lives over here. Ooh, heart event. Hi, dude. I'm just making some popcorn. Nice. Ah, oh, God. He has PTSD. He thought that was fucking bullets being fired. That sound. You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. Eh. I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. But dear, popcorn was always your favorite before you left. He loves popcorn. I don't think popcorn's an item in this game. Things have changed. Dude, can you say something to him? I've never been to war. What do you want me to say? Say something to Kent. Jody's to blame. She should have known better. No. I know you're hurting, but don't blame your wife. Much better. Blame me. I asked for popcorn. Uh, no, we're going to go with this one. You're absolutely right, dude. I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. Okay. That, you know... This game... Is just... How many other games do you see a scene like that where they get into, like... The horrors of war and the PTSD associated with it. The, the difficulties of reintegrating with society and your family. I mean, I know there's, there's, there's games out there that... They handle heavy stuff like that, but this game does it so much, and it's in a game where you would never expect it, but it's like all of a sudden, it just gets real, you know? And it does it a lot. Uh, I was looking for Sam, but I don't see him. I don't know where he is. There's old Shane. Um, let's go do some ocean fishing. Although, I think it might be too late to catch a puffer fish. Oh, look, here we go. Vincent, you get those. Sam, you get this. Perfect. You can buy three delicious avocado for five, for 50 cents or a juicy sweet pineapple for 40 cents. And a bus ticket costs 13 cents. But there are also many expensive things that we use every day. So, like... How much money does the average person there make? You say you can buy fruit for, like, 50 cents, but how much of their, like, daily wages is 50 cents? How long do they have to work to afford that one pineapple? If you purchase a high quality fishing rod, you'll be able to attach bait and tackle to the line. Bait causes fish to bite faster. Tackle can make your job a lot easier when reeling fish in. Thank you for the tutorial. I already knew most of that. <laughs> I like fishing next to Willie. Just two dudes hanging out, relaxing in nature, living the simple life. You can really bond that way. Although if I'm being honest, I don't really like fishing in real life. I've, I've fished a couple times. I actually come from a big fishing family. Like my dad and all my uncles and grandparents love to fish. 
They tried to get me into it when I was a kid, and I just, I never really got it. It seemed dumb, because we would always catch and release. Like, I get if you're gonna fish and then eat the fish. That's perfectly normal, but I don't... I never understood fishing just for the sake of fishing and then just throwing them back in the water. So much trash in the ocean, oh my god. I've heard that a programmer for an international corporation, which is rare, makes 270 a month. Sorry, I'm trying to reach out while I'm fishing. It doesn't work. <laughs> Don't know the average, but it's way lower. Way lower than 270 a month. I can't even imagine making $270 a month. And again, I know that doesn't translate to the economies where we're from, but still, it's just, it seems like such a crazy concept to me. Okay, this spot sucks. It's really annoying when you just constantly get garbage. Whoops. Most people grow rice or sell Chinese stuff. Sell? Why do they sell Chinese stuff? How does that work? Jesus Christ, can I have a real fish, please? I, I give up. I, I know when the game is telling me to find something else to do, and that's what it's doing right now. Because China gets a lot of stuff in there? What? You mean like they export a lot of stuff to Madagascar? Is that what you mean? Yes, like everywhere in the world. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. <clears throat> I knew that China does like a lot of exports compared to other countries, but I didn't realize that that was like a whole lucr lucrative economy in Madagascar. Also, China steals a lot from the island. How do they steal things? Oh, our first night is a married couple. Guys, you can't watch this. We have to fade to black, and I have to put a an age restriction on this video. Okay, made almost five grand. Not sure which upgrade to look at next, building-wise. I, I gotta go do that today, though. Especially because Robin won't be there tomorrow. Sorry if I smell. I was sweating all night in the heat. Yeah, you were. Bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> uh, that's great. I love it. Oh, let's see. Storm is approaching tomorrow. Good. I want more batteries. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living off the land says, Here's a reminder of the fish you can only find in summer. Dorado, found in the forest rivers during the day. Rainbow trout, found in forest rivers and in the mountains during the day. Puffer fish, I need one of those. Found in the ocean in the early afternoon. Got it. And octopus, found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them while you can. Okay, let's let's run to the ocean after we get our stuff done. Oh, of course, there's a whole lot of crops done today. Picked up this recipe overseas. Enjoy. Want to say thanks for making me feel welcome. Kent. Oh, Kent taught us how to cook crispy bass. Thanks, Kent. Pick up 
poppies are ready, so this is actually valuable honey, so it's getting sold. And what were... What did I plant here? Were these just, like, the wild seeds? So they just turned into, like, random summer crops? That's good, though, because now I have a lot more grapes to give to uh, Vincent. Oh! Oh, and they're all iridium quality, too. I think I'm just going to sell all those straight up. Actually. It's got to be worth a decent amount of money. I have that extra bouquet in there, too. I don't know if, um... I don't know if I should give that to Penny, now that we're already married. I'm not sure how spouses feel about that. They probably like it, right? They probably still like receiving flowers. What is in the way here? Get out of here. Oh, and that tree finally grew up. Oh, good. I gotta make more tappers. Sure would be nice if Penny came out here and watered some stuff. I guess she was too tired this morning. Maybe a little too sore. Maybe had some trouble walking. I wonder why. Ooh, I think that's the sound of our pig being grown up. I just heard it snort. That's exciting. Are these are these the red cabbages I think those are red cabbages they should be done pretty soon I think Look, there's our first truffle. Awesome. So, I believe... Yep, since I have that... Um, I forget what, what it's called, but I have the profession that makes all my foraged items iridium quality. So these are always going to be iridium. Which means it's actually worth a lot. Um, now, I'm not positive about this. I want to say that... If you don't have artisan then it's actually more valuable to just sell these at iridium quality because you can also put them into an oil maker and make truffle oil and it becomes a new product. It's much like making the cheese out of the milk. It just makes it worth more. I think it's I think it's actually true that if you sell an iridium quality truffle, it's worth more than truffle oil. So you actually don't want to turn it into oil. But since I have the artisan perk, which makes artisan stuff worth 40% more, that works on truffle oil, but not the truffle itself. So I think that actually bumps it up to being worth it again to turn it into truffle oil. But I need to test that for myself. Um, which we won't be able to do for probably a couple days because I actually, I'm going to turn this one into the community center first. But that is a test that we need to run.
Okay, that should be all the animal stuff good for now. I'm gonna just make sure we petted the rabbit. Yep. Okay. Sell that. And the cheese. And this stuff goes in here. Let me just take a second, catch up on chat here. The game and its hints. They mine a mineral called mice and also stone. Oh, Mika. Mika and stone. There are a lot of precious gems and gold in Madagascar, but they are exported too. Really? Why don't they keep some of that for themselves? I mean, I guess I don't know how the economy works really, but shouldn't that be decent money for them? Even if people grow rice, they sell it because... Mal Malagasy rice is good quality and too expensive and it's cheaper to import Palestinian rice of lesser quality. And also they eat cassava, a type of potato that is completely deprived of any nutrients whatsoever. Jeez. But it can grow anywhere, even on rocks. Oh, that's kind of nice, I guess, if you just need something to put in your stomach. And the saddest were the dogs. Okay, here we go, guys. In Malagasy belief, dogs are bad and they shouldn't be interacted with. People still keep dogs, but there aren't many dog lovers there. How does the culture evolve to believe that dogs are bad? Okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to be, like, racist or anything, but that makes me really not like the people of Madagascar. What the fuck's wrong with them that they don't like dogs? In some families, it's even forbidden to touch dogs at all. Fuck that. And if they are starving, so incredibly thin, like you see in information about animal abuse, and they eat trash in the streets, and nobody gives them any love. Dude, that's messed up. I'm sorry. That's that's just wrong. Like, what what happened there that people were like, oh, fuck dogs. Dogs are man's best friend, man. We evolved them that way to, to grow with us. And, like, help us out. Why would you treat them that way? And that's not to say that there aren't, like, shitty people in other cultures who treat people, who, who treat dogs bad. Like, certainly there are people, you know, in, in the United States or Europe or Poland or wherever that are mean to dogs, but it's not a cultural thing. Culturally, those people love dogs, you know? I don't understand how you form a, a whole culture around hating dogs. Those people need to wake up, man. I'm, like, legitimately pissed off about that. <sighs> Anyways. Here's your truffle. That crap-ass bundle's finally done. And for it, I get three pink cakes. Nice. We still need that red cabbage, which, which I think I'm growing right now, I think. One more apple in the rabbit's foot, which will be coming. So I wanted to get to the ocean in time to do some fishing today. There's my wife. I can't talk to her right now. That's weird. But okay. Ooh, rainbow shell. Ooh, multiple rainbow shells. dig around the beach. Seems there was a... Uh, I guess because it, it rained. Which means that a lot more stuff washed up. two glass shards in a row. Don't need those. And I'm pretty sure they don't sell for shit either. Stupid 
worms. Man, I'm still fuming about the dog thing. How do they feel about cats there? I bet they like cats, don't they? People who like cats but not dogs are not people that I trust. Red mullets. Uh, it's too late. And also, I think I need a red snapper anyway. Hey, what's up, Joe? Thanks for coming to the stream, man. Penny's already depressed one day into marriage. Yeah, I get it. I'd be depressed married to me as well. We already have the sword. Okay. Um... Let me swap out this bait. I just want to use this wild bait that I picked up just to get it out of my inventory. Four dogs where I lived. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Okay, now's my chance for the treasure. There we go. This fish is kind of nasty, guys. Shit. He's gonna drop again. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Two puffer fish. Look at that. Thank you, wild bait. <laughs> and bait and geode. Okay. Honestly, I barely even care about processing the regular geodes anymore because they never give me anything good anymore. Nothing that I need, really. Wild bait catches fish too quickly. It's not giving me time to read the chat. Alright, that's it for the wild bait. There were four dogs where I lived. One looked healthy, but turned out she was far into pregnancy. During one night, she tipped the bin over and ate the fruit leftovers that were kind of rotting and covered in flies. How did I miss that fish? One was missing one eye and had the other one covered in huge ticks, so she could barely see anything. She's just recently given birth to several puppies, only two of which survived. Some were killed by cars and some stolen away. Jesus Christ, man. And some disappeared and were never even looked for. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't want it. I'm sorry that I ever asked about Madagascar. I'm sorry that I've wrought this upon the stream. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I really appreciate you sharing all this information and knowledge, Dale. It's, it's really interesting to learn about um, a culture that I know practically nothing about. Um, I guess you're not always going to like the things you learn, but that's the world, right? Hmm. Six gold ore is pretty good. And I completely forgot to go talk to Robin about buildings, so that's cool. I just got busy today with the crops being done and the fishing I wanted to do. Pretty sure it's too late to go talk to her now. She wouldn't be there. So we'll actually have to wait, I guess, until Wednesday 
start building something new. That's fine, though. That gives me time to uh, save up a bit more money for whatever we're going to build. Oh, is, is today Gus's birthday? Was it today? I, I'm not sure if I missed it already. Why is my short-term memory so freaking awful? What happened to my brain as a child that just broke it? Wow, 10 gold ore out of chess. I will take that. When I saw the puppies for the first time, I was so shocked and angry. They were tied by a chain to a pole. Hold on. They were tied by a chain to a pole with no f water or food nearby and were squealing for attention. They were adorable and wanted to give out kisses and puppy hugs, but no one cared. I was told they were chained so that they were not hit by a car. Well, at least they did that for them. That's something, I guess. Super cucumber. <laughs> All right, one more cast, I think. I don't know if I need to. Should I plant any more seeds? Around the stuff that just got harvested. I mean, it's automatic. It's automatic sprinklers, so I probably should do something there. But I don't know. It's nothing I really need to be growing right now. Now that I have the the greenhouse, and I have like I have the ancient fruit and the strawberries and the. Um, the sweet gem berries all growing in there. The stuff outside feels far less important. But I guess if I have sprinklers, I should use them. <clears throat> Hello, dude. Care to join me? Let me just go ahead and tell you what's on my mind. I have terrible luck with women, dude. <sighs> I'm a nice guy if you get to know me, I swear. Well, watch out with that kind of talk, because that's that might be part of what's turning off the women. <laughs> no, no nice guy has to say he's a nice guy. You don't that's one of those things where like it's like saying you have a big dick. If you have to say that you have a big dick, you don't have a big dick. The girls all seem to like you, dude. Got any tips? Impress women with your strength and charm. Act crazy to keep people guessing. <laughs> Just act natural. Be yourself. Treat women the same as men. Mm, no, that one's not right. Um, <laughs> impress women with your strength and charm is like... That's kind of like dude bro advice. I mean, that could work, but it's probably not what the game's looking for. Act crazy is probably not good. We're going to say just act natural. This is probably the best general advice, right? That's the problem. I do act natural, but I never have any success. I think that just means you haven't found the right girl. Hi, Clint. What can I get for you tonight? Yes. <laughs> or, I mean, I'll have the big and cheesy with extra sauce, please. <laughs> He just turns to me. Hi, dude. <laughs> er, <clears throat> uh, thanks, Emily, for taking my order. Um, Emily, I was, I was wondering. Yes, Clint. Mm, 
Never mind. Oh, dude, you were, you had it. You had it there. Hi, Shane. Here's your beverage. <laughs> She's just like totally ignoring him. That sucks. Thanks, Emily. So, how's your shift coming along? It's fine. Thanks for asking, Shane. Do you have any new chicken stories for me? I'm doomed. Poor Clint, man. Poor Clint. It's rough, man. Relationships between men and women, not always easy. All right, let's see if Gus likes a pink cake for his birthday. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. He said he loves it, but he didn't actually love it, love it, because he didn't get the heart above his head. But oh well. Who wanted the pufferfish? Demetrius who is not here, it seems. All right, we'll have to catch him tomorrow, I guess. Hey, Norman, what's up, buddy? Thanks for uh, coming out to the stream. How you doing, man? Yeah, nice guy in quotes. You gotta, you gotta watch out with that kind of talk, man. <laughs> kind of thing where like if you're bragging about like what a nice guy you are and complaining that women don't like you it's probably because you don't realize that being a nice guy isn't the end all be all like that's the baseline you know if all you have to offer is that you're nice I mean you women can get that from almost anybody nice guy just kind of translates to boring think. Mm, sell those. You know, I might as well wait. What do the the mega bombs do they take gold or iron ore? I can't remember. Mega bombs. They do take gold ore. Okay, so actually, I should probably save up some gold ore so that I can actually smelt. Not smelt. So I can actually craft some bombs. Instead of just immediately smelting them all the time. Definitely reaching a point where uh, it's hard to keep up with the milk, but I'm not going to make more cheese presses because, again, I'm not going to be using them forever. Trying to see if I can kiss Penny before I go to sleep. I think I have to move this. That just goes in her room and uh Oh, she's sleeping. You can't kiss her when she's sleeping. That's probably for the best. It's kind of some weird implications there. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, the witch just did something to one of my animals. I don't know what. <laughs> uh, what are people talking about? Later on, people started to let the dogs out because they weren't chasing the cats anymore, but nobody would take the chain off the one puppy. Ugh. Yes, that is a... Uh, that's a witch. That is actually... Um, that's the witch that the wizard talked about at one point. He said that he used to be married. And then I, I can't remember what happened. They got divorced for some reason. And now his ex-wife just flies around cursing things all the time. <laughs> That's her. 
it's a random chance for the witch to show up and do something on your farm. I don't really know what she does. I think it can be good or bad. I think, like, she can make crops grow faster, or I think she can, like, ruin them somehow. I'm not 100% positive on it. I have to go into town today. Don't work too hard and eat something good for lunch. Okay. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Today's luck is not good. Damn, I might have went to the mines today. If I had had decent luck, but I didn't. Dear dude, here's a recipe for my saloon. I only share this with my good friends. Gus taught us how to make cranberry sauce. Cool. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I should put away this fire quartz. Holding on to the rest of that stuff for now. Love it when I don't have to water. Nothing's quite ready for harvesting yet, though. Yeah. Ooh, these flowers are ready. I should go buy some seeds. I've got eight times four. I've got 32 open spots here. We should grow something just for the fun of it. Animals are going to stay inside today. So what did she do? Dude, look, it's a void egg. She gave me, I think she turned one of the eggs into a void egg. Interesting. So we should actually use that to make a void chicken if there's room in here. I'm not sure if there is. Okay, well, I threw it in the incubator. Um, I'm not sure 100% what the deal is with void chickens. They're, they're like black chickens, and they produce void eggs and make void mayonnaise. I think it's worth a bit more. I don't know if there's anything else you can do with them. But it's the kind of thing, like, I guess you should do just to do it once, you know? So after that egg hatches, we will have a uh, void chicken, and he will make more void eggs. I petted the rabbits. Yep, okay. I don't need the shears. And I already had the bucket. <laughs> what am I doing? Here we go. Back here. The game's a little weird about where you get to be standing in order to milk stuff. It's easy to miss. So here's the downside of having pigs is that they don't produce anything when it's raining out because they won't go outside. And they also won't produce anything for you during winter. During the winter, all they do is sit inside and eat hay. They don't do jack squat for you. But, you know, the, the truffles are so valuable that it, it kind of evens out for the whole rest of the season, the whole rest of the year. But yeah, you will miss out on their produce when it's raining or if it's winter. I'm just going to sell these flowers. Alright, it is Tuesday. Um, let's go buy some seeds. Got 
Got a new quest here. And is there a birthday coming up? Maru tomorrow. Okay, I'll give her some kind of gem. Clint wants 40 copper ores. That's a lot of copper. I'm probably not going to do that. If I'm being honest. We could plant more blueberries. It's kind of too late in the season for that, though, honestly. We wouldn't get, like, the full result from it. So probably better to just plant something that will grow once, and then that's it. Let's do some more red cabbages. I think they're... I think that these things are quite profitable, which is one of the reasons that you get them only in the second season of the game. So it's probably a smart play. And in fact, with them being as profitable as they are, I'll probably want to run them through either a keg or a preserve jar. I don't know which one's better. But bearing that in mind, I'm probably not even going to fertilize them, honestly. Some of them are pre-fertilized, which is fine. strawberries. Hey, we got another yield. I'll probably sell them and then keep the regular quality this time to turn them into wine later. I should put these cakes in the fridge so that they don't go bad. That's not actually a real thing, but it's fun to pretend. <laughs> Let's go see if that cheese is done. I can swap it out. that away. Perfect. Yeah, isn't the greenhouse sweet, Dale? <laughs> It's always so much fun when you finally unlock that and you can start doing the the long-term stuff with it. it kind of changes the way you plan out the whole game. Uh, let's go get these geodes out of my inventory. Maybe check some trash cans while I'm over here. Are both minerals. Hey, this actually did give me a mineral that I haven't donated yet. That's crazy. I wasn't even sure that that could happen from a regular geode anymore. <laughs> I like it though. What are you doing down here, Penny? What do you What do you got going on today? 
She doesn't want to talk. She just wants to make out. I'm okay with that, honestly. All right, let me check the spot for this. Got to pull up my handy guide over here. And it goes fourth from the left. I see it. Okay. It's going to go right there. No reward. Got a soda for Sam here. Really? Okay, that was weird. I had to click, like, below him to actually give it to him. Hitbox was a little messed up on that, I think. I'm gonna go look for Demetrius to give him this puffer fish. Not sure, maybe he would have stayed in today because of the rain. Sorry, I didn't actually have chat pulled up because I didn't... I didn't bring up that window again after I looked at the image, so... Oh, well, oh, Robin is here! Interesting, I wonder if that's because it's raining today. Normally this is their aerobics day. Huh. Okay. It's a fair amount of money for that, I appreciate that. And we're about caught up then, on the main quests anyway. So to reach level 25 of Skull Cavern. Gus still wants an albacore. I don't know how to do that. We need to place 10 beats inside the mayor's fridge. We're working on that right now, I think. And the mayor still wants a shorts back, but eh. He can wait. Okay. So what do we want to build next, guys? I do want to build a shed at some point just to store, like, the kegs and the preserve jars inside somewhere. I also really want to build a fish pond, just because that sounds fun. It's only 5,000, and then some. we need some seaweed and green algae. That stuff's all doable. Seaweed and green algae. Okay. We don't need cabins. That's for multiplayer. I've never done a slime hutch. I'm not sure how much fun that is. I'm not really looking at that right now. And then the coop and the barn are fully upgraded. So really what we're looking at is we need like two more silos. We need a shed and a fish pond. And then I also want to do another house upgrade. That's 50,000 and 150 pieces of hardwood. Probably, that, that one's probably kind of low on the priority list, I would say. Let's give Linus here a sweet pea. He likes it. Grapes. So I think that by the time I got back up top, Robin's probably not going to be at the counter anymore. But since I really have nothing better going on right now, <laughs> let's just try. Um, I want to do the fish pond, so that means I need stones. Algae and seaweed. This is going to give us more batteries, too, which is pretty dope. 
yep, she's gone now. Okay, well, we'll do that tomorrow then. <laughs> I guess for now, let's do some more fishing. Maybe we'll catch something unique. And in the meantime, it'll bring some more cash flow in. Which I need. Dale says, he's told me bad stuff, but there's also some incredible stories, too. Well, let's hear the incredible stories. I want to hear the good stuff about Madagascar. No! Ah, I was trying to keep it perfect while catching the treasure. And I ended up screwing it up. Biting today. I wonder if it's because of the rain. A man who had barely anything finished primary school and couldn't find a job, so he taught himself English and started volunteering for the American Embassy. Oh, a real, uh, real upstart kind of guy. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the ocean. Because it's raining at night, we might be able to catch some squid. Which would be cool. Hi, Sebastian. go to my favorite spot over here and just pray that I actually catch some valuable stuff. Last time this spot was just real garbage. Then he opened English Center in Fort Dauphin teaching other people English for barely any money. That's very good of him. How many people speak English there? This spot really sucks lately. It's like all garbage. Damn squid. Mm, halibut. He talked to the American Embassy and got them to create an American corner. computers and TVs and books and stuff. Oh. Kind of like, uh, kind of like Andy Dufresne in the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> Building out the library. The English Center is an oasis of English. Well, that, that makes sense. I was more asking about, like, the country in general, I guess. Damn it, it happened again. It sucks. Oh no, mm, that was a that was a good one. That was probably a squid, and I just immediately lost him. And I just found Joja Cola in the ocean. Okay. Probably... Hold on. Um, so the staff of hotels speak English. In the capital, some people 
in the South, barely anyone speaks English at all, but then you enter the English Center and everybody speaks English. Interesting. Uh, I think I was too late on that one. So, like, zero English in one place, and then you take one step over there and it's English everywhere. Interesting. I'm always curious about, like, how, how much people in other countries speak English, because the language is kind of, like, taking over the world, right? I know in Japan there's a lot of English-speaking people, and a lot of their signs even have, um... They'll have, like, Japanese katakana, I believe, on them, and then also English. Or they'll at least have, like, romanji, which I believe is... It's a Japanese alphabet, but it but it uses um, English characters, I think. Everyone I've encountered in the streets who spoke English, I've asked where they learned, and everyone said English Center. So everything just radiates out from there. <laughs> All the English in the country starts there and radiates out. I'm just going to sell these grapes. Check the fruit cave in ages. Let's do that real quick. Uh, pretty standard stuff. The cherries are kind of unique, but I don't really know if we can do anything good with them. They probably just best be used for energy, I guess. 98 energy is not bad. I think I'm just going to sell them, though. Penny, I'm sorry, I left the fire off. There. Now it's nice and warm for you. They really do an amazing job. I've learned English for like 18 years now, but they get people to speak in just like 10 months. That is impressive. As a native English speaker, I think I probably don't appreciate how hard it can be to learn English because we have so many stupid rules in English. We have words that just look like they should be pronounced one way, but then they're pronounced a completely different way. I have to go into town today. Don't work too hard and eat something good for lunch. I hope you don't say that every day. <laughs> Clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect for the luau. Oh, there's a luau tomorrow. The event will take place on the beach starting between 9 and 2. Don't be late. And today's luck, not good. And today is Mara's birthday, so I should give her something. What is she with like a battery pack? Dude, how are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes. Fish taco. Wow. That's probably one of the main phrases in English that could make me vomit on the spot. Fish taco. Dear dude, you're such a good neighbor. I thought I'd send over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up. Wow, Marnie gave us 30 hay? That's actually awesome. Thanks, Marnie. Dear dude, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. I should have saved one of those super cucumbers. Damn it, I didn't realize this was coming up so soon. 
Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. I gotta go catch another one of those today, I think. <laughs> These melons are done, but they did not become giants. Because I just have no luck with that. Actually, are they done? They're not done. They need like one or two more days. The melons always look done to me. But it, they actually reach this this stage, this visual stage. This is like one or two days before they're done. To me, it looks like they should be pickable right now, but they're not. Yeah, the calendar in my house is nice. I'm glad I got that. <laughs> See, are these cabbages done? They are! Hey, look at this! Twenty-four red cabbages. You know, I should probably... I was gonna say I should probably replant these, but Pierre's is closed today because it's Wednesday, so... Instead, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. How are we looking in here? Everything good? Everything looks good. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a lot going on right now with item management. Let me... I'm not sure how to put hay into this thing, honestly. Is it just like that? It's just like that. Good. Okay. Perfect, actually. So that hay is maxed out for now. That's that's good news. I think I'm going to give Maru a battery pack. I actually feel like maybe she likes those a lot. Because she's nerdy and like likes to build things. And they're actually... They're considered somewhat rare and valuable. So I'm going to try that for her birthday. I'm going to sell this cloth because it's an artisan good and I'll actually get a lot of money for it. And... Let's store the rest of the hay in there. I already had some hay. I don't remember where that came from, but that's cool. I just realized with only having two preserve jars, um, it would take me forever to process all this red cabbage, and I have a lot more coming. So I think I'll just sell the high quality ones and then we'll do these and see how long it takes. Torch goes in there. Okay, let's go hit up the animals. I didn't realize I could ride my horse right through that gate. <laughs> Petting the rabbit's the most important thing right now. We want him to be as happy as possible so that he'll give us a rabbit's foot quickly. you see how um, it rained yesterday and the animals ate from the hay feeder here. But since this coop is fully upgraded, it just replaced it automatically for me with these little contraptions here. So I don't ever have to worry about placing the hay again, which is awesome. Did I see another egg over there? No. thought I saw one out of the corner of my eye. I was wrong. Ooh, 
So much milk today. Okay. Open the door so the pig can come out and find me a truffle. I'm not sure how long it takes for him to do that, honestly. Uh, we'll find it later. Oh wait, he just snorted. Does that mean he found one? Uh, I guess not. Okay. It's kind of a pain in the ass closing that thing on the horse, though. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. This stuff. storing fiber in here, right? Yeah. I've got 621 fiber. Is that the stuff I needed to craft the brick flooring? Because I actually want to start doing that soon. I can't remember where it is. There it is. No, that's clay. Clay and stone. So much stone. But I think this brick floor looks really nice. So I'm, pro I'm probably going to try and make some of that at least. Why would I fuck myself if I'm married? Um, <laughs> valid question, I guess. Well, you know, maybe the wife is busy or not in the mood. Shit happens, you know? Um, you read what she liked and a battery pack was on there, I believe? Did I read that in a secret note? How does it work? How does a rabbit just shed a foot? Don't think about it too hard. No, you don't. You don't cut it off or anything. It, it just appears there. They just. They just produce it. Don't think about it too hard, man. Trust me. Fish ponds. Let's get this guy going. Oh God, where to put him? That's an excellent question. I think actually right here next to the greenhouse would be kind of nice. I'm not sure if this would be in the way of anything else that I want to do. It's kind of a tight squeeze with the other stuff there, but I, I, I am going to move that stuff eventually. I think I'll stick it right here. And then, you know, if, if that sucks, then I can move it later. Here you go, Maru. Happy birthday. She does. She loves it. Yes. Maybe that's why... Maybe subconsciously I remembered reading that, and that's why I thought to do that. Very cool. And uh, she... She's maxed out now. She probably already was, honestly. I keep forgetting that I have so many people maxed out on hearts already. Vincent's pretty close. Gus, Linus, Clint, Evelyn, Elliot, Haley... Yeah. I am a gift-giving fiend, guys. Okay, um, I gotta go spend a lot of time fishing today, because I need another super cucumber. Although, worst comes to worst, I can use the one I was saving for the potluck tomorrow, and then find another one for the fish ponds. But I just kind of want to get it out of the way before I forget about it. So let's go try to do that. And I also got to remember to drop off the red cabbage at the community center. I'm not sure when the super cucumber starts showing up. It might not be till night, so... This will probably be a fair amount of fishing today, guys. But we'll see how lucky we get.
Man, this is so nice, though. I love being able to play this game every weekend and just relax with you guys. This is honestly a really... This is a really grueling week. I was just like... I'm still getting over the, the cold, like the lingering cough that just won't quite go away, so that's annoying. I feel, like, kind of tired all week long, even though I was getting decent sleep. It was just like I was exhausted every day. I was busy a lot of nights. I, I still managed to stream three times, which I'm proud of. But I was very busy in between that time. I was in a bad mood for most of the week. Just seemed like everything was conspiring against me. And now I'm just like, ah, uh, I just get to live in this world and forget about the real world. And it's so nice. I, I really do value this time. And I appreciate you guys spending it with me. Okay, we're not missing this one. <laughs> Even if it means we don't get a perfect catch. Ooh, Iridium. Sexy. Yeah, Norman, it's kind of like the exact opposite of Sekiro, isn't it? <laughs> oh, thank you, Dale. I appreciate the incredible amount of support you have thrown my way over the years, Dale. And you too, Norman. I know you've been watching me for at least a couple years now. See if I can catch Willy and sell this stuff real quick. Good enough. You still watch my Resident Evil stuff on YouTube fairly often? <laughs> That's what I hear from a lot of people. <laughs> Everybody loves to rewatch my Resident Evil videos. Which is very flattering. I think uh, as a Let's Player slash content creator, being told that you watch my stuff multiple times is like the ultimate compliment, right? A lot of people will watch something one time and forget about it or not even finish it because they don't like it. But if you, if you finish something and then you go back and watch it again, that's when you know you actually like it a lot. So that's always really nice to hear. Dale loves to rewatch Uncharted and Ratchet and Clank. Dude, I've been thinking about replaying Uncharted, not on my channel, just for myself. I just I want to play through it again and experience that story again, because I really loved it. Um just a matter of finding time. I did recently replay Arkham Knight again. I actually played it on a harder difficulty, and that was a lot of fun. But generally, I, I don't find a lot of time to play games on my own. Not as much as I used to, anyway. I am ever low on time, that is correct. It's gotten a little better since I uh, started streaming instead of pre-recording stuff. Because when I pre-recorded stuff, I had to spend the time actually recording the content, and then I had to spend time editing the content, and then I had to spend computer time rendering the content. 
which didn't actually suck up my personal time, but it was time that I couldn't use using my computer to play something I wanted to play because you can't render a video and play a game at the same time. It's just, that's not how computers work. So that would take away my gameplay time as well. Now that I'm streaming and I just export these straight over to Twitch and I don't have to edit anything really, um, it does give me a lot of time back, which is cool. For what it's worth, your channel has been the most watched media at my house for the past few years. Still going back to past streams and rewatching often. Joe, that's so awesome. Thank you so very much for all the support, man. I love you guys. My channel is pretty small still compared to other channels, but the fact that I have a fair amount of people who, like, who support me consistently and actually, like, rewatch content and show up for the new stuff as well, like, that's, that's invaluable, you know? I can't re that can't be understated, it can't be replaced. Whoops. I am almost out of energy and I have not found a super cucumber yet. I want a couple more casts in here though. So let's, let's eat something. I was saving these grapes for Vincent, but you know what? I've got other grapes and he's almost maxed out. So. I'm taking them for myself. Screw Vincent. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need them. I need them. I see a hotspot over here, but I don't think I could actually reach that. I don't think anybody could reach that. How would you ever fish right there? What what happens with this spot at night that it just turns into a giant garbage heap? It's honestly driving me kind of nuts. I know there's super cucumbers in here. Quit screwing around. Just give them to me. Game is trying to tell me something. Yeah, you know what? I'm not listening. I'm being obstinate. All right, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm out of energy again. Stupid game. It's playing with my emotions, man. I just got done telling this game how much I love it and how much I appreciate it. And it's like, oh, really? Fuck you. Yeah. I don't know if I have any gifts I need to give out to anybody here. I'm thinking probably not. Abigail. I would love to live in an old farmhouse like you. The creak of a floorboard, the slow plumes of dust whispering through the rafters. There's something special about an old building, isn't there? I guess. It's slightly hippie-ish of you. But sure. Let's go swap out the cheese before we go to sleep. Actually close the doors. You know what I found out, guys? I actually read this on the Stardew Valley subreddit the other day. I joked about wolves coming and eating your animals if you left the doors open overnight. Apparently that's a real thing that can happen. And uh, it might be one of those deals where like I actually read that a long time ago and that made it stick in my brain and that's why I made a joke about it. But apparently that's actually a thing that can happen if you leave the doors open. I guess it's a very small chance and I'm kind of amazed that this game will let your animals be literally eaten because that just sounds nuts, but... Yeah, so it's actually pretty important to close those doors. <laughs> if you can believe it. 
Unless the guy on the subreddit was lying about it. Maybe he was like making a joke and I just didn't get the joke or something. I don't know. I've got so much trash to process. It's not even funny. Stupid trash. Oh, I do have five Iridium more now. I can make a bar. Yeah, let's do that. Might as well. And... You know what? Let's process some of these fire quartz, too. Because they'll give me refined quartz, which I can use to make some pretty crystal pathing, which I might use for something. I don't know. Kind of rather do that than just have it waste away in my inventory, though. That's it for tonight. I keep looking at your archives for new series to watch, like someone who stares at the fridge looking for something to eat. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I don't know why I came back outside. We're going to sleep. <laughs> Penny's always in bed before I am, so I can't kiss her goodnight. Look at that, guys. Yeah, the cloth is worth six fifty eight. That's not bad. And we're going to be able to make those with the rabbit. And I should get, like, a sheep, too. Oh, I can buy another pig now. I got to do that. I want those pigs going, like, as soon as possible. The red cabbage, um... Sold for almost eight grand for the high quality ones. It's not bad. Eight grand for about twenty one of them. I think it's a, I think it's a good return on the investment because they're a hundred gold for the seeds. So twenty seeds would have been two thousand. So I made about six thousand off the highest quality ones. That's yeah, that's about right. That's good. I think my math checks out there. Good morning, wifey. Whoops. I didn't mean to pick that up. There we go. <laughs> Good morning, dude. I made you a hot breakfast. Oh, she made me breakfast, guys. She made me an omelet. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, that's some good energy restoration. I'll stick that in the fridge for later. And give you a peck on the cheek, because you're so sweet. Get back here. I, I can't kiss her for some reason. Okay, never mind. Clear and sunny. Today's luck. Somewhat annoyed. Have I had, like... I think I've had, like, one good luck day since I started this stream. I don't think I've had more than one. Fish Focus Super Cucumber. You can find this rare fish in the ocean. It only comes out in the evening during summer and winter. But yeah, we'll tell that to last night. Because I tried really hard. And I couldn't get one. There, there's my kiss for Penny. All right, how are we looking? What's what's ready today? None of this stuff. Are these melons ready? Nope, they still need one more day. At least. Took me forever to actually find the right thing to put those in, but I got it. Oh, the coffee beans are ready. And we're being encroached on here. Let's clear this out. Okay, I gotta start focusing on building, like, a lot more kegs, I think. 
Because I'm going to need so many of those. Let's see. Kegs take... They take iron and copper. What a pain in the ass. I do have- I have more iron and copper than I thought I did, so that's something. Um, that's what I was thinking I had to do. Store the quartz. Get those going. The luau has begun at the beach, okay. Where's that other super cucumber? See, now I wish I had kept the gold quality one, because this is just regular quality. I'm not sure if that's good enough. In fact, I worry it might not be. Damn it. I screwed myself over on this. I wonder if we can put the... <laughs> can we put the purple shorts? <laughs> I'm going to bring them along and try that. I'm going to try to put that in the potluck. I don't know if it works, but now I need to know. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope that works. What happened to this crop here? Why is this one shitty? That's stupid. No, upwards. Juan, I don't have all day. Literally, I've got like four hours to get to that luau, I think. Oops. Damn goats only produce every other day. I don't know why. I did it again and milked the wrong cow. Okay. I guess I should let them out. Where's my truffle from yesterday? There should be a truffle somewhere. Unless the pig isn't finding them every day yet. I thought he... I thought that once they were grown up, they found them every day, but maybe not. Maybe because he's not at max happiness yet. The good news is I'm pretty sure the truffles don't go away. I think you can leave them out for a couple days and you'll you'll still be fine. Where was I keeping coffee beans? There they are. Good. And then... Let's get this recycling going. Hold on a sec. Found information on Stardew subreddit that said the wolf attack can only happen if the door is closed and an animal is trapped outside. Oh, really? So even if the door is open, they should be fine. Started wiki confirms if an animal has been trapped outside, 
with the barn or coop doors closed, there's a chance it will be attacked by a wild animal during the night. Okay, so you don't ever really have to close the doors then, because as long as they're open, they can go inside and they're fine. Also, I would hope that having a fence up would prevent that too, but, you know, game rules don't always mimic the way real life works, so I just didn't know. But that is actually really good to know. Thank you for confirming that, Mr. Dale. As ever, you are my boy. Let's get to that luau, because I'm going to miss it if I wait too much longer. What are you doing here, Mayor? There's a luau going on. Get your ass down here. What's up, people? I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, what's all the hubbub about? Carlos Santana? I forgot that today was the luau. Yeah, I did too, actually. Governor? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> what's up, wifey? I'm just humoring some old friends. What I really want is a bowl of that soup. Well, get it now, because you're not going to want it after I throw what I want to throw in there. <laughs> hey, good to see you. You too, Kent. How you doing, buddy? That's all he has to say. I hope the soup is good this year. So this is one of those deals, guys, where we, we heard most of this dialogue before, so I'm not going to go through everybody. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Yep, I hear you. Alright. Oh my god, I can actually do this. You added lucky purple shorts to the soup. <laughs> I threw the shorts in the soup! <laughs> what the fuck? Do I get them back? How's that work? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Already did, Marnie. Marnie, in particular, is going to like it. I bet she'll think it tastes great. <sighs> what a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I must speak to the missus about purchasing, about purchasing a vacation home here. Well, you might change your mind after today, buddy. Look sharp. The governor's here for his annual visit. <laughs> if you brought something for the potluck, make sure and add it to the soup cauldron. All right, let's, let's see how the mayor likes it. The governor seems a little hungry. Yeah, let's not keep him waiting. <clears throat> well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Well, Governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? <laughs> of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit tangy, but actually the flavor is quite good. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just one minute. There's something in my bowl. What's this? <laughs> he actually got him in his bowl. This, this is outrageous. I've never been so insulted in all my life. Look, my tongue is swelling up. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I've never done this before. I didn't know that was a thing. Whoever took part in this appalling act is truly reprehensible. Using my very private item for this sick purpose. <laughs> it's a ruin of perfectly good soup. Unforgivable. I've never been more ashamed of this community. <laughs> truly disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Go home, the festival is over. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen in this game. I guess the little prank didn't go over too well. I don't know, I thought it was great. That's amazing. And I got him back too. Wow. Wow. Oh god. That was awesome. Okay. Well, the good news is I get to keep the super cucumber, so I don't need another one now. That's actually perfect. My plan works out. And we don't have to worry about the, uh... We don't have to worry about the potluck for another year now. So... Everything went better than expected. I still didn't get the reward for getting the best tasting soup. I don't even remember what it is at this point. But I also don't really care that much. So, yeah. I might care if I actually remembered what it was. Because then I'd be like, oh, that's a thing I really wanted. But what I don't know isn't hurting me. Looking good. Um, let's just go to sleep. I was going to say, I, I have some energy to spend, but it's almost midnight. And that was a long day of being devious and mischievous. What if the governor never returns? Well, you know. We don't need a governor. We're just fine on, on our own. We're doing... Great here in Stardew Valley. So I don't really care. Storm is approaching tomorrow. That's good. Today's luck is good. Good humor. What I need is good luck on a rainy day. Mwah. Wow, the honey's ready again? That seems fast. But I'll take it. somebody's birthday today I gotta go check my calendar because I might want to use that diamond for a birthday gift actually but tomorrow is Steve's birthday and since I never know what he likes I'm gonna try giving him a diamond I think unless he's already maxed out let me double check Steve Steve where's Steve no he's only at two hearts I'm going to save that diamond for tomorrow and hope that he appreciates it. If he doesn't, I'll punch him in the head. We've got tomatoes. Very cool. Those will... keep growing, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember growing a lot of tomatoes, so I'm... not sure if they're good for anything besides just selling. Probably keep the regular ones to throw in a preserve jar, I guess. As I'd normally do. You guys know how I get down. Oh, Penny. Here, got this for you. She's now at... She's got three more hearts to get. Okay. Making progress. Morning, Robin. Keep working diligently on my fish pond, please. There's probably some strawberries ready. No? I thought there'd be strawberries here ready for picking, but apparently not. And I think these melons are probably ready today. No, they're still not ready. I swear to God, these guys, they look like they were ready like three days ago. I don't like the art for them because it tricks me like every day
Dale called me insane and asked me why I did that. Uh, for science, man. It had to be done. Like, first of all, I just had to know if it was possible to do it. And, uh, well, I, I guess that's really the only reason. But uh, as a secondary reason, it was hilarious. We can agree on that, right? Oh, I forgot to replant stuff here. Uh, yeah. Let's go buy some... Well, let's do animals first. And then I'll go buy some more red cabbage, I think, from Pierre. Make sure we pet the pig and the rabbit. That's the most important ones right now. There's the rabbit. Got him. Okay. I think I'm going to buy another pig today, too, so we're going to be spending some money today. See you hiding down here, Mr. Duck. Damn it, pig, where are my truffles? It's the entire reason I bought you. You better start pulling your weight, because you were not cheap. Oh, hello. D okay. I guess he went inside and then came back out, so I already had him. Actually, you know what? Let's go down south first. Because there's also a traveling merchant today. I should fill out the bottom row of this path, too. Because stuff is growing there, too. And it's annoying me. But I might change it to a brick path if I... I don't have any, hardly any stones left, though. Maybe I should go to the quarry. All right, we got pufferfish, anchovy, crap, crap, crap. Another rare seed. Mostly a bunch of crap. All right. It was hilarious, agreed. I'd never do that, but that's because I'm a coward. <laughs> hey man, you can't live your life in fear, okay? Sometimes you just gotta be crazy and just go for it. That's actually, um, don't live your life in fear is kind of a funny phrase to me. I'll tell you a story in a second. Hold on. Uh, what am I doing? We're purchasing a pig. <clears throat> the pig shall be named... Benny? I kind of like Benny. Benny the pig. Do I have room for... Honestly, I should buy as many pigs as I have room for right now. I'm not sure if I have enough room in this barn. I do. Okay. Piku the pig. Piku pig. I like that. And if there's room, I do have money for one more. It'll tell me when I run out of room. Oh, I've got plenty of room. All right. Bookers? Eh. Sounds too close to pukers. I don't like it. Oh, Whack Ello. That was a good one. I'm typing that back in. Whack Ello the pig. Nice. Now, let me just see... Oh, it won't even let me try again. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, so back in like 2009 or 10, uh, I had a buddy who had just gotten out of the military. 
and he came to hang out at my apartment. I was having a rock band party, and it was fairly late at night. I already gave Sam two gifts this week. Okay. And uh, I had downstairs neighbors that I didn't like. They were nice people, but we didn't... I didn't want to bother them or interact with them at all. It's kind of a long story, but I was just... I was trying to avoid confrontation with them. So even though it was, it was a rock band party, it was kind of late at night, and I didn't want to have the volume up too loud because I didn't want to bother them and have them come knocking on my door. Um, Willie wants five sunfish for 150 gold. Five sunfish for 150 gold? Eat shit, Willie. No. I'll accept it, but I'm not doing that. And um, my buddy came over, and b by his own admission, he was kind of an asshole because he'd just gotten out of the military, and he... He was kind of an asshole in the first place, and he was having trouble, like, reassimilating to society. Um, so, yeah, he was just, he acted like kind of a dick, but he was a good friend of mine. I love him. Uh, what did I come here for? Red cabbage seeds. We need 24 of these. Okay. So, he came over for my rock band party, and it was very late at night, and at one point, he got mad that I was keeping the volume low, and he was like, dude, what are we doing? This is a rock band party. We should crank the volume up. And I was like, well, I get that, but I don't want to bother my downstairs neighbors. A, because that's just a mean thing to do in the first place. B, because I don't want to deal with them, so I'm keeping it low. And he looks me dead in the eye, and he goes, do you live your life in fear? <laughs> and I was just like... No, but that, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. And everybody just started cracking up. And it kind of became like a... It became a long-running joke amongst our friends. Just the whole, do you live your life in fear thing. Because it was such a weird, assholey thing to say. And, you know, these days we look back on it and we laugh. But at the time, it was just... It was really... It caught me so off guard. Do you live your life in fear? It's like, dude, we're talking about Rock Band. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. That's my story. It said not enough money for the pig. Yeah. I, I, I know. Did I misspeak? I'm aware I didn't have enough money for it. I might have misspoke and said something else. Um, anyway. Oh, I need fertilizer. Damn it. Okay. Hold on. Gotta make some more. Running kind of low. Don't have any fish to make quality fertilizer, or else I would actually consider that, but I'm not gonna go catch fish just to do that. No, Dale, I do not live my life in fear. Except for, like, uh... I don't know, I'm kind of scared of the universe in general. Because it's such a it's such a cold, uncaring place. The inevitable heat death of the universe weighs heavily on my mind, pretty much at all times. But other than that, no, I'm not really scared of much, honestly. When I was a kid, I was very afraid of fire. I did not like fire, and I never wanted to go near it. But I got over that as I got older. You know, I, th I think a healthy fear of fire is probably an okay thing to have. Okay, uh, gotta get these cabbages planted. Still gotta drop that off at the community center. Got some extra coal here. Let's put that away. Got a bunch of geodes burning a hole in my pocket. I should go take care of those. It's too late today. I'll try and remember tomorrow. Uh. 
And then we just got to water these spots here. Okay, those are all ready to go as well. Did I just hear a sheep ba at me? I don't have a sheep. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I don't own any sheep. I don't know what just made that noise. It's very weird. And this other pig is really not finding me any truffles, and it's starting to annoy me. I guess he's just not happy enough yet. We'll keep trying to make him as happy as possible. Um, let's go drop off this cabbage, because I keep forgetting to do that. Put away that. And that. A healthy fear is an awesome thing to have. Makes Darwin proud of you. <laughs> you think that noise is from the goat? That didn't sound like a goat to me, but uh, you're probably right. That's probably what it was. To me, that noise said sheep, but I guess it could have been a goat too. Really? Thank you. Ah, finally. Feels good to close these bundles out. Feels really good. And they gave me a seed maker. Oh, that's, that's actually quite handy. I like that a lot. I will get usage out of that once the uh, ancient seed is done growing. And at this point, I have no recollection of when I actually planted that, so I don't know when it's going to be done, but it, it takes an entire month, I believe. Remember to give the diamond to Steve tomorrow. And uh, I don't really have much else to do right now. I guess I could do some fishing. Let's see if Sam or anybody else is home. Oh, here's Vincent. I don't have a grape, though. I'll give Jody a sweet pea. I kind of want to give Kent this, um, this red cabbage and see if he likes it. I don't know why. I just feel like I should do that. Cause I gotta find something that he loves. And since you get you get Kent on the second year and you get red cabbage on the second year, it just kinda makes me wonder, like maybe it was designed that way on purpose. So I'm gonna creep out here and wait for him to come home. Hopefully he doesn't come from the top and I don't see him until it's too late. <laughs> What does a goat sound like in English? Um, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I get, I, I guess it's more like a eh sound, like like more of an e, like a prolonged e, as opposed to like a ba sound, like a sheep. A she is like a b a ba kind of sound. But also, I don't think I've ever even seen a goat in real life, so I'm probably super wrong about that. I probably saw a goat at, like, the farm show at the York Fair when I was a kid. That would have been, like, over 20 years ago, so, yeah, I don't know.
Dang, how late does Kent stay out? a little jumpy. What do we got here? Pike. Okay. Oh. No, Sam. Get. You know, I used to live in the city and I have to admit this place is much nicer in the summer. Okay. But here, take this. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Damn it. I don't need to give him a gift. Ah. All right. Where's your dad? So, somewhere else. Ooh, fishing hotspot just appeared. bat. Starting out with trash. Fuck you. Give me a fish. Three in a row. Really? I guess wild bait it would be a good thing to use with um, a fishing hotspot, huh? Let's do that. Or maybe not, because it's just giving me garbage over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's gone. I got one actual fish from that. That's how much this game hates me. Okay, well, I guess I missed Kent. Either he was already home, or I don't know. I guess I'll catch him tomorrow. I'm going to use up the rest of this wild bait, though. Oh, he could still be out, because there's Leah. I didn't think anybody stayed out this late. Oh, there he is! Oh, the, the treasure screwed me there, because he kept walking while it was pulling out the treasure, so... The timing of that could not have been any more perfect for screwing me over, it turns out. <laughs> Yeah, yep. That's that's my luck. That's how it goes. All right, cool. In Polish, sheep do be and goats do me. Interesting. It's really fascinating for me to hear about the way different cultures and languages describe different animal sounds, because theoretically, it's it's all the same sound that we're hearing, but we interpret it differently and then and then express it differently. I can't remember any specific examples, but I remember hearing about that um, in Japanese. The Japanese have, like, really interesting sounds for certain animals that, like, don't make any sense to me as an English speaker. But obviously it makes sense to them, you know? Uh, yeah, okay. I spent way too long down there. I'm going to pass out if I'm not careful. I just want to process this stuff overnight. Get in there. Uh, 
Put that away. Oh, that too, actually. Okay. Yeah, I remember, um, was it bees? I remember hearing about a certain Japanese uh, expression for an animal. And I think it might have been bees. And it was like nothing like what you would think it would be. I wish I could remember exactly what it was. So today we got the rain. Ooh, we're going to have rain tomorrow, too. That's awesome. Today's luck is neutral. Okay, you know what? Well, that's as good as it's gotten so far on a rainy day. I wonder if Maru and Dr. Harvey will ever get together. I'm sure Harvey likes her. Really? I did not know that. I think Maru will have to make the first move, though. <laughs> well, you know, she could do worse than a doctor, for sure. So, okay then, let's... Giant crop! Guys, it happened! <laughs> My first giant crop! That's awesome! Yeah! I love it. I should have taken a screenshot with all the... All the melons still planted. But you know what? Uh, that's why it's great that this is being recorded by Twitch. So I'll grab a screenshot later. I wonder if I should wait to break that until tomorrow. Because today's a neutral luck day. And if I break it up on a better luck day, I might get more from it. But uh, also tomorrow could end up being a bad luck day. So that could backfire on me. Isn't that cool though? Look at that. Print screen that. <laughs> it looks disgusting. <laughs> I think it looks delicious. It, it does kind of have like a pockmarked surface, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, so three of these fused together to make a giant crop. Let's see how many we get from it. 18. Guys, that's awesome. We got basically, um, it basically doubled the amount we would have gotten from it. And we also got a secret note. It's Sam's Holiday Shopping List. Everyone's favorites. Oh, cool. It's telling me more stuff people love. Penny loves Poppy. Good thing I grew three of those. Um, mom. So Sam's mom would be Jody, right? Jody likes crispy bass and pancakes. That's not a pain in the ass at all. And Kent likes risotto and roasted hazelnuts. Roasted hazelnuts. Hazelnuts are... Eh, they're not that easy to come by, actually. And then Sam likes cactus, maple bar, and pizza. Wait, when he says cactus, does that mean like cactus fruit? I don't know. That's, that's awesome. That's a landmark moment. We got a real giant fruit, guys. And now we need to plant 81 more of them. And try again. <laughs> I think I will sell the gold and silver quality ones like I usually do. Store the rest to be turned into... I never replaced the stuff in the kegs. Did I? That was a mistake. We've been wasting time. Come on now. Thank you. Alright, so let me think about everything we got to do today. We've got to... Replant 81 melons, which I think I just need like three fertilizer for. 
we got to give the diamond to Steve. I'd like to give the red cabbage to Kent. It's not the end of the world if I don't do that today, though. And I still haven't done the animals. Let's not forget the animals today. Monsters known as Squid Kid. If, uh... If all this other stuff hadn't happened, I'd probably go to the Skull Caverns today. But the planets just don't ever seem to align in quite the right way for me to make a trip there. There's no way to buy these in bulk. Oh, if you hold shift, you do five at a time. That's good to know. Okay. What's up, Steve? Mmm, I smell the barbecue. Damn, I could go for a burger. Who's barbecuing in the rain? Are you sure you're not just, like, having a stroke? Here, do you appreciate this? You remember my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. Didn't love it. But he did get... Two hearts. I'll take it. Whoa. That's a good boy, Dusty. Who is... Who's Dusty? I've never seen a dog in there. You might be the only one around here who understands me. <laughs> no one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. I don't know why that was funny to me. I was just thinking, like... The dog understands him because he's as dumb as a dog is. So, like, they understand each other. Like, I don't know. Dude, did you ever hear me talking? Yes, I heard everything. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? Not really, no. You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Too real. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless and I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind. One day he left and soon after that, mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. Wow, Steve and I have more in common than I ever thought we did. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, dude. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. It's a good outlook. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> ah, look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. <laughs> oh, that was, that was good. That was a good event. Um, let me give Evelyn a sweet pea. Say hi to George. The weekend is no different than any other time for me. That's how it is when you're retired. I get it. I used to say the same thing when I worked that swing shift at the nuclear plant. And I would have like, I would work two weekends a month and then I would have off two weekends a month and everybody was always like, uh, you know, oh, dude, it's the weekend. I'm like, uh, eh, the, the days of the week don't really matter to me anymore. They mean nothing, you know? Part event with Sam. Oh, hi, dude. I was just about to have a snack. Sam has cool hair. He looks like a Super Saiyan. Here, let me get something for you. Hey, Diane, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. You think Dusty's the best character in the game? I, uh, I can't begrudge you that. Oh no, what a mess. Heh, <laughs> he broke an egg. What was that sound? <gasps> this is absolutely terrible. What happened? Dude, she's so mad about, like, one egg being broken. 
Tell her, dude. Sam dropped the snack as he was handing it to me. Sam handed me the snack and then I dropped it. Sam dropped it on purpose. He thought it would be funny. <laughs> I honestly really want to pick that one. But I think Sam would hate me. Um, I don't know. All these options are weird. I don't know what to pick here, honestly. Uh, I guess we'll say this one. He handed me the snack and then I dropped it. We'll take the fall for him. Yeah, that's what happens. Thanks for telling me the truth, dude. It's not such a big deal. Yeah, you were kind of freaking out there. I'm sorry about this, Mom. I'll clean it up. Thanks, honey. I'm doing good, Diane. Thank you. I'm very happy to be chilling playing this game right now. I, I needed this today, so... Okay, we're finally going to give Kent this red cabbage... He says it's a great gift, but he didn't love it. Oh well. You get one of those. I don't have grapes for you right now. You get one of these. I thought it was Sunday. Okay. I, I remembered the two gifts thing. I just, I thought it was Sunday and it had reset. So I am stupid, but not as stupid as you're thinking I am. Alright. Let's try and buy another pig, because I do have enough money now. Wow, I have so much more room in here than I thought I did. I should probably buy one sheep, too, come to think of it. Just because I don't have any. I mean, they just give you the same thing that rabbits give you, though. You just get to shear them and get the wool. But just to kind of say that I had one of each kind of animal, that might be a smart thing to do. Cho the pig? I'm okay with that. Uh, Diane, this is the second year. This is summer of year two. I feel like I've actually made a lot of good progress in this game already. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I'm finished with the mines. Um, I've been trying to do Skull Cavern, but I haven't really been able to make it there because I've been... I've been taking on so much other stuff, I'm just constantly busy. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this stuff here. Because that's annoying. I wonder if the animals get happy, or get unhappy, if you leave the door open when it's raining? It says she looks really happy today, so it's probably fine. Uh, I guess the rabbit has grown up because now it's dropping wool. It's interesting that I don't have to shear it off the rabbit. I thought I did, but I guess rabbits just drop it. That's interesting to know. Dude, why do I have so many eggs all of a sudden? There must have been, like, extra ones in here that I didn't pick up before, I guess. A rabbit is dropping wool. Yeah. Yeah. That's... That's how it works. Don't question it too much, Dale. Pet all the pigs. I forgot to grab my pail. Dale's gonna drive himself crazy because he's taking like everything in this game too literally. <laughs> yeah, you see, when you. I guess it, it is. So th that was a different noise. See, look at that. That was a ba. That sounds like a sheep to me. 
But then it also does the eh thing. That's the proper goat noise. But then it also goes bad like a sheep. I think that might be a bug, guys. Because that's, that's two distinctly different noises that it makes every time I click on it. And I suspect it might be... Might be bugging out a little bit. Look, questioning is the nature of my existence. I cannot not question something. <laughs> That's fair. I, you know, on some level, I respect that. All I'm saying is... Don't drive yourself nuts trying to make perfect sense out of the video game farming simulator. That's not really convinced with... Or that's not really concerned with uh, accuracy to reality. That was a long, twisting sentence. You get what I'm trying to say. I've got so much stuff, guys. What did I see that I wanted to store in here? Oh, I think it was the fiber, actually. That, the coffee beans. Oh, let me run over to Clint's. I want to process these geodes. They've been sitting in my inventory for ages. In fact, I'm going to take the mine carts, just because that's more convenient. I think that's new. Ancient drum? I can accept stuff after I've questioned it. That's fair. <laughs> that might be new too. I'm not sure. Oh, bear, I, actually, it's probably not. Let's see. Pyrite is new. Bearite is not. All right, let's go drop it off. Yeah, nice. The drum and this one. Okay. Let me check my organizational tool here. So the drum's going to go right there. And this stuff is going to go there. We got two rewards for that. That's sexy. What do you got for me? We've got a drum block, a crystal chair, and a triple shot espresso. It's more potent than regular coffee. What does that mean? Because they're both plus one speed, so that seems the same to me. But okay. I've also got to get to the quarry soon, just because I gotta, I go, I gotta farm all the rocks up there. I'm very short on stones, and I'm gonna need a lot of stones going forward, both for like pathing and for like building stairs in the uh, skull caverns. Okay, get out of the way. Thank you. So many eggs to process. And do I have milk? I do. But that's not done yet. Okay. Never mind. Okay, next up. This. Yeah, see, like, days like this. 
as soon as I woke up, I was like, oh, this might be a good day for the Skull Caverns. But then it turned out I had a lot of stuff to do, both farming and otherwise, and there's just no time for Skull Caverns right now. Should buy a couple auto grabbers to make the animal work even easier. I guess those are planted there. You can't actually see them, but that was the correct number of seeds, so it should be right. <clears throat> and so that. I gotta see what it takes to build. Actually, let's check that now. Let's see what it takes to build a loom. Wood, fiber, and pine tar? I should be able to pull that off. 6031. Crap. What was it? Was it fiber? I forgot already. Yeah, it's fiber. And a pine tar. Okay. I'm not sure where to put the loom. I guess. I don't know. I don't want to just keep building it out down this line here. We've got to find a better solution than that. Just put it over here for right now, I guess. Actually, it probably makes sense to put it in the barn. Yeah, that's a better solution for now, actually. Let's do that. I've always loved the animation of this. I, I can't explain why, guys. I just find something really satisfying about the way it looks when it's spinning around and it's got, like, the white spokes coming out of it. I've always loved that. Cycling. So much inventory management going on right now. Um, oh, I gotta put the super cucumber in the fish pond. The fish pond's been ready for a couple days and I have not messed with it yet. That goes there. Here's the Cucumber that I've been saving for God knows how many months now. I'm not sure how this works because I've never done this before. Do I just... Okay, you literally just toss it in. And now you can just vaguely make out the shadow of it right there. You click on it and it says Super Cucumber Pond, population one out of three. The fish looks happy. Empty the ponds or change appearance. Oh, look, cool. Except it's hard to see because the gooey blocks the view of it, so that's stupid. But I don't know which one of these I like. None of them are particularly exciting to me. Just go with that one, I guess. So I guess. I guess he just lives in there now, and I think eventually he'll start asking me for things, and as I provide the things, I believe he'll reproduce other super cucumbers, and then I can fish them out. 
I think that's how that all works. Okay, let's sell these spice berries. Whoa. That lightning was really close. <laughs> Danny, what you up to? I'm glad you're home. It's a good night to stay inside. Aw. Smooch. So, the crystal chair. Put that right there by the table. Doesn't really match, but what are you gonna do? In the drum, I'll just put down here. That way we'll get a nice drum effect every time I walk past. I think I'm going to not really bother trying to um, organize and decorate here until I get the next house upgrade. Because everything's going to change anyway, you know? So, as much as I actually want to do that right now, it seems ill-advised, so let's just wait on it. So, I think now I'll come down here... Let's just fish a little bit tonight. Just because it's raining, we might get something unique. And also money. I'd like to catch something I've never caught before, just so we can fill out the log a little bit more. Last piece of bait. Oh, that's right, I had the wild bait on. Alright. It's actually kind of annoying how you find those, but you only ever find like two, like two of them or five of them at a time. So, so it's like, well, I want to use them, but then you got to go through the trouble of switching it out and blah blah blah. First world problem. I'm actually thinking. I might wrap this up, guys. I know it's kind of abrupt. Uh, this might be the last day, though. I didn't realize I'd been streaming for this long already. We're at like three and a half hours. And, uh, I gotta go make some tacos. Not gonna lie to you. I've got stuff to make tacos, and I am hungry, and I really want to go eat them. Also, normally on Saturday nights, I um, am hanging out on my friend Final Girl's stream for game night, but I don't think she's doing that. This week because I think she has some kind of tournament for Friday the 13th, which is the main game she plays. So I might end up streaming again tonight for a little while. I don't know what. Maybe Outer Wilds? Because I haven't played that game in like a month and I would really like to finish it. So maybe I'll do that tonight. Oh my god, it's almost one o'clock. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, last fish. <laughs> And one regular geode. All right, thanks for that. I've got to rush home now. Are you gonna reread the ship log then, or do you remember what was happening? No, I'm I'm gonna need to reread the log. I got kind of, 
I got a little, um, what's the word? This... Demoralized? Demoralized in that game. Because it keeps telling me that there's more stuff to find in that one city. And I can't find anything else in there. Like, I just, I feel like I'm constantly just running up against a brick wall in that game. And it's a bad feeling. But I really want to finish it. Because <laughs> I think it's a great game. But it's, it's kind of hard to stream. Like, it's, it's not an easy game to stream. I've also toyed with the idea of finishing it myself and then just picking it up on, um, like, a separate save file and just, like, streaming how to actually beat it. <laughs> just showing off all the stuff that I didn't find in the regular stream. I don't know if people would be upset about that or not. But if I actually, like, finished it on my own and then streamed it after the fact, I'd be able to speak to it a lot better and spend less time wandering around aimlessly and just actually show the game off. It's just, it's one of those games where, like, it's it's easy to spend hours not actually making any progress, and I feel like that makes for a bad stream, so, I don't know. If you guys have thoughts on that, go ahead and weigh in. I'd, I'd love to know how you feel. Would you would you be mad if I finished that game on my own and then just streamed, just did, like, one final stream and, like, showed, like, how you're supposed to actually get through it? Because it's the kind of game where, like, I think if you know what to do, you can start a save file and just go straight to the end and, like one or two cycles. So, you just have to actually have the knowledge of how to do it. The progress in the game is measured by what you know. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I feel like that, that might actually make for a, a better stream as if I actually knew the stuff and then I could just roll through it, do a run with you guys. And that would save me time, which is kind of a commodity right now because I'm trying to finish up a lot of old stuff too. I, I hate to do it. I feel like I'm, like, betraying the spirit of the Let's Play, if that makes sense. It feels like... It feels like a betrayal of that, but also maybe that's a stupid feeling. Maybe it would be way smarter to do it the way I just described. So let me know if you have thoughts on that. Um, other than that, I am going to sign off for now. Maybe I'll be back on later tonight. We'll see. Keep an eye on my Facebook and Twitter. I'll let you know what's going on. Thanks very much for hanging out, guys. Dale, it was great to see you again, buddy. I'm, I'm glad you're back. I'm happy you had a good time on your trip. You don't care for the game much? You watch it to support me, but have no interest in it. That surprises me. It seems like the kind of game I thought you would like, actually. If I play it tonight, you could ask it in the stream and post it to YouTube and find out what people who enjoy it think. Yeah, that's, that's a decent idea. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, thanks again, guys. Really appreciate it. I uh, hope you all have a good day. Uh, perhaps I'll see you later, but yeah, um, take care and I'll catch you next time. Thanks. See ya.